How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here, uh, Movie Collector Maniac. I'm going to show you my uh, recent pickups over the last month or so. Most of them in the last couple of weeks, probably. So we'll start off with. Uh, I guess we'll just start off with Dollar General. I got this uh, Michael Douglas film collection DVD set. <clears throat> it's got uh, the Star Chamber, Romance in the Stone, a Chorus Line, The Jewel of the Nile. Wall Street, The War of, Rose, War of the Roses, Shining Through, Don't Say a Word, It Runs in the Family, and The Centennial. I already had Romance in the Stone, The Jewel of the Nile, and I believe Wall Street on Blu-ray. Uh, a couple of these other ones I had on DVD, and then there was like four or five that, that I didn't have in any format at all, so I went in and got it. I think it was like 10 bucks or something, I don't know. This is a horror movie it's called uh, Slasher.com. We got The Longest Ride on Blu ray. Got Tammy. Not really a great movie, but I went ahead and got it just for the hell of it. I found this uh, still book, uh, Stripes, a Dollar Journal, and it wasn't damaged. Couldn't believe it. So, pretty cool. Got this for the love of Benji. Uh, Limehouse Golem, $1 DVD. Uh, Life as we know it. Uh, and then I got this old uh, Burt Reynolds movie on DVD called Starting Over. Thought I'd check it out. Supposed to be a comedy or something. And this one, I'm not sure. If, I must have got it at Dollar Tree or something. The Monkey King. So. This one, I believe, I got some. I, I bought it from somebody on uh, Facebook. It's the Conjuring Universe uh, Blu-ray collection. So you got uh, Annabelle Comes Home, The Nun, Annabelle, The Conjuring, Conjuring Two, and Annabelle Creation, all in this set. Next we have uh, the Open Water Collection. Got one, two, and three in it. Uh, I believe I picked this up at Walmart for like five bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. I haven't seen the third one yet, so I don't know how good that one is. I believe I watched, I know I watched the first one. I'm pretty sure I watched the second one as well. So here's a new movie called uh, SAS uh, Red Notice. It's got a uh, Ruby Rose and uh, Sam Huan, I can't pronounce his name, whatever, however you pronounce it. He's the one that plays in that uh, TV show uh, Outlander. It's a real good show. Uh, and then I uh, have this on uh, Nobody on 4K. This is a real good movie. A lot of action in this movie. It's kind of like uh, John Wick because I believe. Uh, the producer and the writer is from the John Wick series, so it's a real good movie. Next we got a uh, Wrong Turn on Blu-ray. I just picked this up because I have all the other Wrong Turns. Uh, I don't know. If, I think this is maybe a reboot or a remake or something. I don't know if it's really any good, but I thought I'd give it a try. I know it's not going to be as good as the original, of course. Every time, pretty much every time, the original is always better. Any sequel, there's only a few exceptions to that. And so, and then I found this uh, Kenny Rogers uh, Gambler set uh, at Walmart. I believe it's like 15 bucks or something. I already had a Gambler set, but it didn't have. For some reason, I didn't have one of the movies in here because this is a six film collection I believe my other one was like a five film collection but you got uh, 
course you got the gambler and then you got uh coward of the county the gambler the adventure continues the gambler part three the legend continues and then you got the gambler returns to luck of the draw and you got gambler five playing for keeps I didn't know they had that many gambler movies I, I know I remember the original one of course I don't know if I remember watching any of the other ones so definitely be checking those out especially because I enjoy watching the westerns Kenny Rogers is pretty good pretty good actor of course he's a great singer so those are only those are all the ones I picked up at Walmart here lately. This is this one I pre-ordered on uh, Amazon. It finally came in uh, last week, I believe. It's a City Slickers uh, Two, The Legend of Curly's Gold from Shout Select. I had this one on DVD, so this is, I think it's the first time it's on Blu-ray. So this will go with my uh, City Slickers Blu-ray. Next, I'll show you my uh, Barnes and Nobles uh, collection I got. I haven't been to Barnes and Nobles in like two years, probably. I decided to go in there because they had the Criterion Collection uh, half off. So while I was in there, I found uh, this Born in East LA DVD for four ninety nine. So I went ahead and got it. I remember seeing this one a while ago, like probably when it first came out. Cheech, Mar Cheech Marin in it, so and Paul Rodriguez, Daniel Stern also is in this one. It's a pretty good comedy if, if I remember correctly. Alright, next are all the Criterion collections I picked up. Got the Jackie Chan uh, Police Story and Police Story 2 collection. Got the Irishman from Martin, Martin Scorsese. Uh, I haven't I haven't watched this one yet. I know it's a uh, Netflix original movie. You know I have Netflix. I haven't watched it yet, but I went ahead and picked it up. I heard it was a pretty good show, a pretty good movie. Yeah, next we have uh, Great Escape uh, uh, with Steve McQueen in it. It's a real good uh, war type escape movie. Then they're in a POW camp and he escapes or whatever. A real good movie. And then we have I have a James Stewart movie called uh, Destry Rides Again. I had this one on DVD and I think I had a digital as well on this one. But I went ahead and got the Blu ray on this. It's got uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Great little movie from uh, 1982. And then I have this, uh, The Fisher King, with uh, Robin Williams and uh, Jeff Bridges in it from uh, 1991. I don't think I've even watched that movie yet. I think I had it on DVD, but I don't, I'm not sure if I watched it yet or not. But it's got pretty good ratings, so I went ahead and got it. <laughs> the Blu-ray upgrade on that one. Uh, this is another western. It's got uh, Barbara Stanwyck in it called 40 Guns. It's from 1957, so it's in black and white. But I thought I'd check it out. I think it's got pretty decent ratings. It said there's a good, I think there's a good gunfight in it. So I went ahead and got it. And I like westerns, so I went ahead and got it. So those are all my uh, Barnes and Nobles pickups. I go ahead and show you my pickups from uh, Best Buy. Over the last, I think it's over the last couple weeks I've picked these up at Best Buy. Got this Liam Neeson uh, Honest Thief movie. Uh, I believe it's another action movie from uh, Liam Neeson. He became quite an action star in his. Uh, I think he's in his 60s or something. <laughs> Seems like he is anyway. But I thought I'd pick it up. It's like, I think it was like $14.99. So I went and picked that up. Uh, then we got the new Jason Statham movie. Uh, 
from uh, Guy Ritchie, Wrath of Man. We watched this one the other day. It's a real good movie. I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10. So, really good action. Of course, you know Jason Statham. I'm a pretty good fan of Jason Statham movies. He has a lot of good action movies. Uh, I went ahead and picked this still book up. It's a 30th anniversary limited edition still book with a backdraft. Pretty cool looking still book. You know, I already had the, I think I already had the 4K uh, regular Blu ray or regular 4K Blu ray. So I went ahead and picked it up just because the still book looked pretty cool. This is a Blu ray I picked up. Uh, it was $7.99 called 21 Bridges with uh, Chadwick Bozeman in it. Rest in peace, brother. And then, uh, and we got the Mortal Kombat uh, still book, the new one. I don't know if they got anything. I guess it's a little bit inside. That's the new Mortal Kombat still book. Uh, I saw this one. Uh, I think it was about five dollars off and what it normally is. So I went ahead and picked it up. The Deer Hunter. With uh, Robert De Niro and uh, Christopher Walken in it, uh, it says it says on one of AFI's top 100 films of all time. I don't know if I've I've probably seen a few scenes of this movie, and I'm not sure. I don't know if I owned a DVD. I don't think I did, but uh, it won Best Picture in 1978, so it should be a pretty good movie. So I'll be checking that out pretty soon. That was on 4K. Uh, this is another 4K still book. Uh, Snatch. Not a really great still book, really, but I'm not too big a fan of some of these pop art still books, but I went ahead and got it. Thought I'd rewatch that. It's a pretty good movie, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I picked these up uh, yesterday when I was in Best Buy. Uh, I got The Walking Dead, the complete 10th season on Blu-ray. Got one season left of The Walking Dead, so season 11 will be the last one. And then I have, then they have, I think they have some a spinoff series with uh, Daryl and Carol. So it isn't as great as it used to be but uh, I still watch it just to finish it out but and I have all the other ones on blu-ray so I went ahead and got it so I get so I'll have the whole series uh, this one came out uh, Tuesday spiral from the book of Saul I got it on still book with a uh, Chris Rock it's a pretty cool looking still book. I mean, the color is pretty nice. Uh, uh, I watched this movie uh, the other day. I thought it was pretty decent. I mean, kind of gruesome movie, but uh, that's pretty much what you expect from Saw movies. So. Anyway, those are all my... Uh, pickups over the last month or so if you haven't uh, subscribed please do so of course hit the thumbs up uh, leave a comment comment below I appreciate any comments you make uh, I, I pre I reply to all, just about every comment so let me know let me know what you picked up over the last um, couple weeks or so I guess yeah, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see y'all on the next video.